Big weekend for the men's soccer team. Great to see you on Cards TV with head coach Ken Lola. I'm Sean Moth, and we roll back to Notre Dame. And uh, We talked about the Ohio State win, a nice win. You can carry some momentum into conference play. Uh, not that you can pick and choose who you play, but you open with a very stiff opener in terms of the fourth-ranked and undefeated Notre Dame Fighting Irish. And come Saturday night, you guys really roll out with a good one. It's a great way to start 1-0, but especially under these circumstances, against a team like that, a super start to the Big East. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, the way the, the conference schedule works is there's two divisions, and um, for us, we have one crossover. And uh, the way that we've decided to do it within uh, men's soccer is that your crossover will have everything to do with your RPI. So our crossover, we get, uh, because we've done very well uh, recently, we get a high RPI, which is a team like Notre Dame, which is great because yeah. um, it allows us at the end of the year from a strength of schedule to have a strong strength of schedule and be considered then for the NCAA tournament and seeding and things like that. So we welcome that opportunity uh, to play Notre Dame and, and teams that are very good. And we were just talking today as a staff of how important it is for our growth of playing games like that really stretched us. You know, there were times where we felt like we played very well and times where, um, you know, we had to catch the game as well. And all of that is very good for our growth, especially for a young team. And um, I thought that game was perfect for where we are right now. And uh, I'm proud of the guys of how they handled it. And uh, I thought it was a good test for us, and I thought we, we did well. I imagine the folks that came out to Cardinal Park, too, were, I mean, they were entertained. I, I was not able to make it, but in looking at how the match broke down and how it was decided, some drama, some excitement, a lot of fun, and another beautiful evening in Louisville. And, and it was entertaining for a lot of different reasons. One is I thought the quality of soccer was very good. You know, the one thing about playing Notre Dame is they look to play as well. Um, they generally don't thump it forward and run, but they, they possess it. And I thought from that standpoint, the quality of, of soccer on the night was very good. I thought for us, again, our strength of getting the ball moving and keeping it was, especially in the first half, very, very good. We created some good chances and got a really good goal from, from Dylan Maris. Uh, the possession we had on top of the box, being very composed with Alex Abbey and Dylan Maris and, and Will Vitalis, you know, paid off for us. Um, but it was also entertaining because of, of how the, the game went. You know, we're up 1-0 and Notre Dame comes back and gets a PK and, you know, a little bit suspect. Um, you know, the, some days the referee may not call it. And on sure. this day, he did. And I give the referee a lot of credit because later on in the game, in a very similar situation in our box, and, uh, uh, you know, Mar Marlon went down in a very similar situation. He called a penalty and uh, we ended up converting, which uh, was the game winner. And uh, I know Andrew obviously buried that one. It's clutch. Uh, anybody else stand out for you over the week? Well, I, th I thought Paolo continues to be very consistent for us. Um, you know, he's in a lot of ways the un unsung hero of, of our group in that um, he goes about his business. He's, he's um, very disciplined and um, very consistent in what he does, not flashy. Yep. Um, but he's he's been very solid for us and also, quite honestly, a very good leader off the field as well. So he's he's been tremendous. I think Mike Morrow's come in the last two games and done very well as well. Um, he's handled himself um, with a lot of confidence and, and made some plays for us. Um, and defensively, you know, between Ohio State and, and Notre Dame, Notre Dame's been scoring some goals. And, you know, to hold them to just a penalty, they really sure. didn't have a ton of chances besides that and to get – a shutout before that, you know, says a lot for our team defending yeah. and the pressure we're creating. So I think collectively we're doing very well on that end. Outstanding. On the road, the cards head to Piscataway, New Jersey, uh, not far from from your hometown, and uh, it's uh, it's a very good Rutgers team. Yeah, they they went to uh, the Sweet 16 last year and have a lot of a lot of guys back from that. Um, so we're expecting it again. It's Big East play and. You know, every game in the Big East is usually a battle, and we expect to go there and uh, have a good contest as well. And like you said, it, you know, for me as an added bonus, I get to see a lot of family and, you know, JT who's going to be there and coming up to see the team and get a lot of hugs. So it'll be a good trip. 
outstanding. I know you're looking forward to it. JT, we'll, we'll uh, be excited to send the coach your way, and uh, we appreciate you watching. Safe travel. Best of luck to you and the team, Ken. Thanks so much, Sean. For Ken Lola, I'm Sean Moth. Great to see you as always. We'll check in next week right here on Cards TV.